situation I'm talking to Sharon here at the Hunt Museum and for example the artificial. What made you interested in the artificial? Well, about 20 years ago I met an elderly gentleman and he told me about an event of his childhood called the Battle of the Tailways. And it's after he told me about that that I got interested in it. Do you think more people our age should be taught about Limerick and say the average fisherman? Yes, definitely. Um, because it is your history as well. And in 50 years' time, when I'm long gone, it will be people like you who will be telling the story to the next generation. What are the main fish that the Abbey River people caught? So the fishermen, they mostly caught salmon, but they also caught eel and various other fish that were in the river. About 90% of the fish that they caught, though, were packed in ice and sent over to the London markets. So Sharon, why did the fish go to London? The fishermen caught far more fish than what they needed to, for the local market. But also the eels went over to London because jellied eels were a popular treat over in London, but not so popular here. So Sharon, early on and during one of the first questions, you mentioned the Battle of the Tailways. Could you explain more about that? Yeah, the Battle of the Tailways came about after the construction of Arden Crusha. And the Ardna Crusher scheme was a power plant that had a huge dam that changed the flow of water down the Shannon. And this meant that the fish could no longer go up the Shannon the way they used to. So the Abbey fishermen, they had depleted their, their fishing supplies and they decided to break in to the new water way that was created by the Ardna Crusher scheme. And there they had a battle. Oh, so how many people died during the battle? Um, nobody died, but they had all their boats were confiscated. They were all taken to court, and it, it was over the course of three days that they were wrestling in the water against the water bailiffs and the police. And what was the outcome of that? Uh, sadly, it didn't bode well for the fishermen. They still lost their rights to the fishing, and um, Ardna Prussia continued the way it was. Mm -hmm.